At the height of the Cold War, Nicaragua was caught up in a bloody civil conflict. A collection of leftist groups calling themselves the Sandinista National Liberation Front, backed by Cuba and the Soviet Union, were pitted against the U.S.-backed Contras. It was here where visiting college professor Lisa Brown would find herself standing in support of Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega. That's her with a raised fist, the signature expression of solidarity. Brown has a long history of standing against American foreign policies, serving as a leader in a number of activist groups. Those actions would end in her arrest for blocking entry to the U.S. courthouse in Spokane. But these are details Lisa Brown may not want you to know. There were recent attempts to edit her Wikipedia page by her consulting group, GMMB, removing her connections to Nicaragua, where she supported the Sandinistas, removing how she believed aspects of the Cuban health care model should be used in the United States. I, I started on the activist side of politics. I worked in opposition to U.S. policy in Central America. Brown co-founded the radical bookstore Left Hand, described as being explicitly socialist, offering what has been described as a one-stop shop for all socialist, resistance, revolutionary, radical, alternative, and anti-capitalist literature. Left Hand was started in 1979 by a group of people who, it kind of was an outgrowth of the New American Movement. Here, you will find books supporting everything from Marxism to anarchism. Yeah, it's not a progressive, liberal type of mentality. It was a revolutionary communist. Scott Attenberg had Lisa Brown as a college professor, where he says Brown's politics were more radical than most Democrats. She is not a progressive, not a liberal. She is a revolutionary communist. And that's what I, after one quarter with her, understood her to be. 